It says, let us pray. Almighty God and most merciful Father, who of thy infinite goodness has given thy only and dearly beloved Son, Jesus Christ, to be our Redeemer and the author of everlasting life, who after that he had made perfect our redemption by his death and was ascended into heaven, poured down his gifts abundantly upon men, making some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, and doctors, to the edifying and making perfect of his church. Grant we beseech thee to this thy servant such grace that he may evermore be ready to spread abroad thy gospel and glad tidings of reconciliation with thee. And use the authority in him, not to destruction, but to salvation, not to hurt, but to help, so that a wise and faithful servant, giving to thy family their portion in due season, he may at last be received into everlasting joy through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with thee in the Holy Ghost liveth and reigneth one God world without end. Uh, but then there's this one. Give heed unto reading Exhort, exhort, exhortation and doctrine. Think upon the things contained in this book. Be diligent in them, so that the increase coming thereby may be manifest unto all men. For by doing thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Be to the flock of Christ a shepherd, not a wolf. Feed them, devour them not. Hold up the weak, heal the sick. Bind up the broken. Bring again the outcast. Seek the lost. Be so merciful that you be not to remiss. So, discipline, that you forget not mercy, that when a chief shepherd, oh, when the chief shepherd shall appear, you may receive the never-fading crown of glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of God with path that, which passeth all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and the love of God and His Son Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. All I can say is, you know, I really do hope that some actually do start reading the Bible. But I know there's a saying for that too. I'm just not going to use that after reading the Bible. But yeah, it, it's 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 pretty bad, man. Like I wish well on everyone, and uh, I hope that everyone makes. you know, uh, better decisions and, uh, repents and 
at least read the book, even if it's on the internet, or download a PDF, or actually buy one. And if you don't believe me at that point, for all you people that just use computers, go on YouTube and Google near-death experiences. Then look at the ones that said they saw heaven and the ones that said they saw hell. And then really ask yourself, could all these people really be making it up? I doubt it. I highly doubt it. So, you know, you pick what you do in this life. This life is your learning curve. Hmm, got some horns beeping. This life is a learning curve. You learn so that, you know, your everlasting life, if you shall, so get one up there. It's because you pass the test on this planet, on this plane. If you don't pass the test here, you fail and go down to the pit. You pass the test. You go up, kind of like school. So, yeah, I hope that people do make it. But, I don't know. You know, that's all I can say is, I hope people look into it for themselves. Look into it and be a judge of it yourself. Don't take my word for it. I'm just reading the Lord's word. Trying to go by what he says. So you go ahead and you read it yourself. God bless and have a nice day.